In this video, I will show you how to make a color selection in a photo and uh, change the selection to a different hue. Let me show you the basic way of how it's done. It might not work correctly the first time, but I will stop for a fix. I'm going to image and adjustments menu. The bottom here, there's a replace color option. We get a palette that's very similar to the one that we used in another exercise where we picked the uh, sky. And this is a very similar tool. We have a few eyedroppers. I'm going to start with the first eyedropper. There may be some selections here, but just ignore those. I'm going to click one area of the flower, just one shade of pink there, right there. And you'll see how it selected a lot of the flower already. I'm now going to switch tools to the plus in the eyedropper and I'm going to keep on sampling the pink and red hues in this flower. You'll notice that I'm sticking to the outside just because they're all very similar. I'm going to come in a little bit closer to the inside. But if you get too close and you're starting to pick a little bit deeper red, we run into a problem and that is that the red on the left side is being selected now. So if we make any changes to the image, it will affect not only the flower that we're targeting, it will also affect the flower on the left side. So let me cancel this and I can do one of two things. I can uh, use my marquee tool and sort of encompass the flower selection into a square that way any changes that we start to make or anything that we want to do will be confined to the area inside of the marquee I will load up the adjustments menu again in replace color and uh, go back to the original eyedropper and start to click I'm gonna click the plus tool now and continue to click and you'll see that my changes are limited just to this area it's ignoring this flower outside and as I get a little bit deeper into the red you'll see a richer selection being made over here so now I'm going to change the fussiness to maybe something a little bit higher and stop maybe at 50 or so and this just sort of grabs a little bit more of the area you selected but then you'll see a new problem arise and that is that this uh, clay pot below also has some reddish hues to it and uh, the selection is now being compromised because of that. I can live with this as long as I can get the fussiness down to an acceptable level until I see the uh, selection at the bottom disappear. And I can live with this selection that we have here. Now I'm moving down to the replacement area and changing my hue from that red to something else. Maybe a blue. Because we didn't get all of the red, there's still some here that can be selected and added. Just uh, clicking, picking up a little bit more of that red and you'll see that it's turning blue as I click on the selection and this action is works better when you still haven't applied the change to the hue it still knows that the original color was this uh, was this magenta looking one so now I've completed my selections I'll click OK I can deselect and I've changed the hue of the once magenta flower to a blue flower. I did say there was a second way to select the flower so I've gone back to the original picture. What I can do is go to the quick selection tool. This is the one we use for the cowboy. My settings up here are plus to be adding to the selection. I'm at about 30 pixels wide on my brush. It's a, it's a fairly soft brush. It's at 50%. So I'm going to now cover over the flower and start to click on each of the petals. And it's uh, checking out the uh, pink and red, etc. And making a quick selection of the flower petals. I can now open up my image adjustments. Go to replace color. 
I can start to make the first uh, selection with the eyedropper. Same area where I did before in that pink. I'm going to click the plus on the uh, eyedropper and just continue to make my selections. And I'm moving into the darker areas here a little bit quicker because I know that all the selection that I'm making is limited only to the petals inside and you can see that's what's happening over here I'm now going to make my hue changes I can see that I can still make uh, some additional selections here so while it's still selected and I haven't changed the hue uh, permanently I can make those final selections to add and this was a much quicker job than the first one but I know some people have had issues with the quick selection tool it's nothing to be afraid of it's a very useful tool and you see how fast it did the job of selecting the flower and help us uh, change the color